Affordable housing and treatment are a big part of addressing our homelessness crisis. But even then, neighbors like these still have to pay their bills. That's why it's so devastating to the Open Door Network that the state has ended its longest running contract for one of their job development programs. I'm your neighborhood reporter, Veronica Morley. Picking up trash and washing down sidewalks isn't the most glamorous job, but it's a necessary one. And for these workers, this job is a, this job changed my life like big time. Sarah Regalado was on the streets and addicted to drugs when she came to the Open Door Network in 2022. With no ID and nowhere to turn, they helped her find a purpose. Before this job, I wasn't in anybody. And I felt like, well, what am I here for? I'm, I'm not here for anything. So just sweep me off the face of the earth. No, I'm here. I'm here because people need us out there. The Open Door Network helped Regalado get a job through the Adopt a Highway program, which employs formerly incarcerated and homeless to pick up litter and clean the streets of Bakersfield for minimum wage. But now Regalado and so many others who benefit from this program are seeing their employment put in jeopardy as the state reduced the budget by over 300000 Knowing that this program was going to be cut in any manner just really pulled at our heartstrings. CEO Lauren Skidmore said they learned about the budget cuts in March, which would result in them having to lay off and reduce hours for over two dozen employees. She said the cuts are especially difficult because of the vulnerable population they employ and the impact it would have on their progress. Re-entering homelessness, becoming problematic on the streets, entering back into addiction, and it really hurts the community that we've created here. The Adopt a Highway program, a contract with Caltrans and the city of Bakersfield, was the Open Door Network's longest standing contract, helping hundreds for more than a decade now. Katrina Hinzer struggled to find employment due to previous criminal charges and no GED. Thanks to the program, she became a work lead and has developed more skills. More or less how to like lead other people and how to be like responsible and all that. Regalado said as a lived experience worker, helping clean up litter and even homeless encampments at times, she and other workers can do the job while offering a unique perspective and compassion to those on the streets. It makes us happy. It makes other people on the street happy, knowing that we're helping the community. It just breaks my heart, you know, when I look and I see how the streets are and how I could have been on the street. But I'm not. I'm alive because of this job, and it made me feel like I'm worth something. Regalado and Hinzo have both found housing and acquired cars thanks to their employment now, with questions about the program's future due to these cuts. Bakersfield City Vice Mayor Andre Gonzalez asked city staff to look for ways to help supplement the loss. I have to pay bills and my rent and all that going up. We need this job. We don't know. We don't know what to do without it. And for more on the Open Door Network's job development programs, you can head to our website, turn to 23com In Bakersfield, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Veronica Morley.